You hear all the water flowing. The hills around here are very beautiful. It's actually quite a large um, band, quite a large area. Um, maybe about 10 miles from about from around Winslow to uh, North Marston it goes. A sort of band where the terrain is like this. You've got these grassy fields quite open and then you've got these like bumpy hills. It's very, very nice, very beautiful area. Um, I think I've just come from Botolf Claydon, East Claydon, Botolf Claydon. The, the road to Granborough and North Marston was flooded, completely flooded. There was a fire truck. There was a fire engine and probably some ignorant, some ignorant like urban person probably tried to drive through like a metre, uh, a metre high uh, flood water in their, in their like hatchback car or something, you know what I mean? And broke down. Uh, so I've gone, gone around, gone this way. Um, I've just seen that um, in uh, in the villages back there, they've got put up signs because um, the government wants to make a 2,100 um, acre large solar farm somewhere in this area. I don't even know where they'd find that much space because as you can see, you've got these huge hills here. I think they're supposed to be on flat ground, the solar farms. You've got a lot of these big hills here, so I can't even imagine where it would be, but that could have a big impact on the aesthetics of this area, which is a shame, because everywhere is getting attacked in the same kind of manner. Um, so all, all the villages have literally, and, and the farms out this way have put up these big green signs, well-made signs, like plastic ones, um, lots of different slogans on there. Um, personally, I don't think um, they're going to be able to do anything about it because um, because the government just is, is, you know, it's like a dictatorship, isn't it? It's the same as like, you're not going to be able to stop the uh, immigration and the open borders for these um, so-called refugee people who are like mostly men between like 18 and 40 or 18 and 45. Um, as you see, this is a really beautiful road. I'm, I'm not even having to, because we're on the downhill, it's on the slight downhill. I'm not even having to apply any power just to go along here and you get very few cars coming down here. But um, at the end of this road and then a few miles on, um, well there's a lovely hilly road that goes up to Pitchcock and Ovi. Um, but that's been kind of wrecked by cars, like the amount of traffic. They drive very, very fast. They come off of this big uh, big road near Watson Manor, this big A road, then they come up. The problem is it's so close to Aylesbury, so you're getting all the Aylesbury traffic down here, but it used to be all right down there. It's gotten, um, it's gotten much worse like in the past few years, and now I prefer to avoid that road. Um, there's like a big crossroads up ahead and then um, if you take like the left hand side road there's a there's like a, a long road a long sort of straight road that goes to um, berry fields um, which is like a, the edge of Aylesbury and that is a massive huge uh, new build new build estate uh, near where the wind turbine is, there's, they've got like one wind turbine in Aylesbury for some reason. There's just one single one, and um, yeah, so you get all the kind of like bad people probably driving around these roads here. Like this car up ahead, this could be 
that's probably those old people there but I can see two cars actually see this could be people like doing a drug deal or just hanging out like drinking or something like something a bit shady do you know what I mean uh, it looks like a, no, I think it's just one car like an estate it's probably a countryside person but um, yeah up to the right hand side that hill on the right hand side is um, goes down towards Clayton which is over there which is like a very nice like kind of touristy village um, where the wind where the windmill is and um, me and my cousin I went up that hill like a couple of years ago for the first time up right up to the top and then I took my cousin we went right over the top we went down the far side of it into the village of Quainton and um, yeah I, I did a video about that that was a fun fun time I haven't really seen so much of my cousin recently because I've been ill and he's got like a new girlfriend in Leighton Buzzard and this girlfriend is like an older woman who I don't know she's not even from our town so there's no way I would know her and uh, yeah this is that big busy road here that's um, has a lot of fast traffic so you go from like one of the best roads to one of the worst ones national grid tearing up the whole country all these like utility vans and construction workers you just see them everywhere they're just wrecking the place if it's not them it's the SUVs well, I can see some see you can see like hardly hardly any people ever drive down here but you can see the multiple cars have like gone over this verge because they've seen another car coming the other way that means there's like more traffic than there usually would be because like this kind of damage to the road size didn't used to happen very often and just generally yeah you'll see like even here you'll see like bits of rubbish like thrown about especially as you close closer to this junction here um you got this parking spot but you got a little can there some plastic things a plastic tube some polystyrene a cut another can there sheep's looking at me all right to my right hand side i've got a can i've got a white thing another can another can another can on my left um as i said it's like all the trashy people from the cities there's another can these are all alcohol cans by the way so it makes you wonder are these people like drinking while driving which isn't i just don't think that was very common like 10 years ago i really don't i just don't think it's really a common thing like that english people do because it's been so um it's been so beaten out of us that we shouldn't do that um that i wouldn't think it was that you know only the most kind of like reckless um anti-social people would kind of do that although there are some kind of like older like countryside kind of people that might be a little bit drunk that drive home you know uh I just, I don't think it's that common. Or it's people that have a lot of personal problems, you know. But um, I just don't think it's, these people are clear, like, these people throw, that throw the rubbish, they just seem the type that just don't give a fuck about anyone. <sighs> My impression is, um, most people now are just in a called kind of survival mode so it's like they're trying to they're trying to make it to a better place they're trying to get to a better place you know they're always trying to get somewhere and they're not able to enjoy their surroundings but they never end up getting um, to somewhere better because they can't afford it and everywhere is getting worse at the same time uh, to different degrees um, and the only people who can enjoy this kind of uh, situation of surroundings are the de degenerate people <laughs>